Hey everybody, cloudy and rainy here in DC. I was heading in one direction. Spirit was like, nope, I need you to go sit down and deliver some messages. So here we are. So a lot of things that are coming through right now is we are coming to um, more acute and chronic breakdowns of systems. And what you're seeing on one stage is not necessarily what's happening on another stage. And what you're going to have is a lot of film directors out here saying that they've got, they've got all the answers and they know how to direct, directly get you the messages from these blue hats, white hats, red hats, whatever. And so they have all this information on the political arena. They have all this information on the military arena. They have all this information on the financial arena. And they have all the information on um, the alien arena, whether they're going to hurt you or come save you or whatever. But all of these arenas that are being played out by multiple producers and multiple film directors and um, multiple concerts that are being played around on this social platform, media and beyond, you have to ask yourself, does all this information help me be the best that I can be in this moment? I've been asked off and on for years not to get into certain topics to stay in my lane. So I wouldn't talk about the Nassara Desara being full of crap. I wouldn't really talk much about one classified unit of military and then you leave that classified unit, you still are privy to all that information, how nonsensical that sounds and doesn't happen. Um, there are many strings that have pulled decision-making here in this universe. And I've said before that a lot of those, those um, beings, good, bad, and indifferent aren't here anymore. And the minions were going to go into frenzy fighting. And so we're seeing a lot of that play out geologically and eco-wise and environmentally on all these levels. You know, we're seeing changes within the earth. Um, we also have new technologies that have been out that are able to show you more information that maybe you weren't able to see before or maybe you weren't drawn to see before without any of these platforms bringing it to your attention. And again, you have to ask yourself with all of this information, how does it help me be the best person that I can be? And when you have all of these programs running at the same time, along with living your daily life to survive and to help those around you survive, i.e. family, job, etc., responsibilities, um, they're squelching the life out of you. So, you know, I've often talked about the invisible obstacle course and, you know, that has been placed there that trips you up on many lifetimes um, and takes you out of the game sooner than you wanted to. Um, are a lot of those things have been removed as well, but people are still holding on to those as if they're still here. And so they're still tripping over something that isn't there. And... Um, we have to let go of programs and things that have been drilled into our cellular systems, our cellular memory as truth and step back and say, nothing's true unless I've seen it and experienced it within myself. And I'm following my God cues, my hence from my divine inner self, my mission of my soul. I am the commander and in the driver's seat of all is that I experience and how I respond and react to those experiences. And in order to do that, we have to empty out the old noggin. We have to empty out the old memories and get those uh, in a place where uh, we see them a little more clearly and we can resolve and dissolve, forgive, release, let go, and make room for new God cues and sensories. But when we're surfing the social media all the time, collecting all of this bullshit, um, we are overloading our circuit boards and you're not even realizing 
that several of your circuit boards are blown and then this other circuit board's trying to maintain for those circuit boards and then soon uh, that's gonna snap crackle pop and so we're carrying our bodies around with all these posty notes to remember everything our brain is on overload we're in a state of complete inflammation uh, there isn't enough herbs tinctures you know, vitamins that they can recommend that are all a lot owned by the same farm farm that's giving you the other stuff. So there's a lot of frickery trickery and a lot of things, but you're not going to know that if you're constantly following all of it, thinking it's your truth. You're not going to know any of this until you step back, get rid of it all, shake yourself off, and work on your own footing and foundation and rebuild your footings and foundations. Let go of old everything that's crumbling. Let it go. You don't need it. You don't need it. Take the treasures from any of it that serve you. Hold on to them if you choose to. But let go of all this other stuff that isn't. Don't worry about the banking system. You're going to be okay. Don't worry about the political arena. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Because just changing the frequencies within yourself changes the frequencies within the earth, on the earth, and within the surrounding universe. One physical body at a time. And then you won't be so ready to leech onto someone else. Take that information, then you're literally leaking it like a bad sewer. And so you're taking everybody else's fecal and then you're putting it all over yourself as if now you're in the shits, right? And this isn't serving you, it's not serving you. When I first sat down, I was a little fired up and I was like, Ooh, I need to take a chill pill before I put this out here. Because when spirit tells me to put messages out, I just put them out. I don't really listen to it. I don't, um, I mean, in some ways I put myself out on a limb because I can't take this back. It's out there. And so one of my major messages is how are you going to know your own messaging when you're so busy sucking off of everybody else's straws and sucking up their messages and believing, oh, this person is, oh, they're the head of the whites and they're the head of the browns and they're the head of the reds and the heads of the green team and all these teams that are playing and they're the part of, of this race and, and that race and this alien race and, 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 and it's just, it's just all creates a lot of division, unnecessary division. Can you just stand alone and make up your own color and your own team? Start your own race by clearing off all the debris and getting, getting, getting to know your original God source spark self? Can you do that? Do you have the courage to let go of all that stuff? Who cares who pokes fun of you? Be an original, be an original. Get your footings, get your foundation. Let go of what doesn't serve you. Tap into the sensories of the God cues, your messages. Clear your social platform. Don't let anybody become your friend or become your follower if you haven't really asked your spiritual self do I really want that person following me? Do we really want any attachment to that? Do I want to follow them? Do I want any attachment to that? I could promise you, once you start playing with this, you will literally begin to cut all cords to almost where you feel like you're in isolation with the me, myself, and I, and the God self. And in the beginning, it will feel weird. But you know what? Go to my website, make an appointment, Let's have a chat. 
let's get you on the path where you can be a little more stable in starting this new venture of just being okay and trusting in the me, myself, and I of the you of the universe, period. Know that your money's going to be okay. Know that you're going to have food in your belly, clothes on your back, and a roof over your head. You don't have to follow any of the old programming. Take a good look, see. There's no more obstacles in your way but you and what you're choosing. Step away. Give yourself 30 days to cleanse out and detox from all the other stuff. And tune into here. You have a lot of crap to lose and so much to gain and a whole lighter, brighter way of approaching everything. I'm living, breathing proof of that. I've done it on my own, working with different healers and teachers, becoming the healer and teacher, anchoring my light and knowing that me, Sandra, in this physical avatar is everything I need. And the only thing I need, the rest is, is shown to me through all of this connection with my God Q self. You're walking, living, loving columns of light. Own it, ground it, fill it. You can do it. Be the love, be the mentor, be the teacher, be the everything to yourself first and then spread it. All right, please like, subscribe and share. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.